Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers. Why does the submit tag generate HTML with the name commit property? This is a great topic that dives into the inner workings of Rails forms. We'll explore what commit means in this context, why it's included in the generated HTML, and how it appears in the controller parameters after submission. Let's get started. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. Let's explore why the submit tag helper in Rails generates HTML with the name property set to commit. This is a common question among Rails developers. When you use the submit tag helper, it creates an input element for submitting forms. The name commit is used to indicate that this button is responsible for committing the form data. The term commit is a convention in Rails. It signifies that the action associated with the form submission is intended to change the state of the application, such as creating or updating rec record. You may have noticed that the commit parameter appears in the params hash in your controller after form submission. This is expected behavior and not a recent change. In Rails, all form inputs, including submit buttons, are included in the params hash. This allows you to determine which button was pressed if you have multiple submit buttons in a form. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Rails, the submit tag generates a name property set to commit. This aligns with HTML5 standards, allowing you to define your own name attributes. The commit name ensures that a parameter is passed when the form is submitted, which can be useful for handling specific actions in your controller. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.